Today I'm on Market Street in Shawforth, which is just a couple of miles uh, away from Bake Up, uh, or from the town centre of Bake Up. Uh, it's a rural location, so it's great for those people looking to sort of escape the hustle and bustle of the town centre. But as I mentioned, you are just uh, a couple of miles away from all your, all your local shops and amenities if you need it. Uh, it's great for those with kids. There's a great primary school, which is within walking distance. And also for those who perhaps need to commute to the busier city centres, uh, access to the M66 is just a few minutes away also. In terms of the property itself, as I mentioned, we are on Market Street, but this particular row of terrace is known as Yew Tree Terrace. Uh, it's a 150-year-old property and it retains many of its original characteristics, including the high ceilings, the massive windows, uh, there's even some original flooring in the hallway as well. Uh, I'll try and show you what I can on this video and the photos will do what they can do, but this is unlike anything you will have likely seen before. It's an incredible property. There's hidden corridors, there's extra rooms, there's a loft that we need to explore as well. So let's have a look at what we're talking about. So this is the main living room, which uh, is positioned to the front of the property. It's got a nice big window there to the front, a beautiful marble fireplace. And as I mentioned earlier, you've got those tall ceilings with original features as well. Let's just have a close look at that fireplace. As I mentioned, it's marble, absolutely gorgeous. And if I just turn the camera around, give you another, another view of the room. So as we step out of the living room, you, you come into the entrance hallway, you've got this lovely feature staircase. The floor in here is original also, and then it leads through on the left to the kitchen. So there's so much potential here in the kitchen. I've got my own ideas of what I'd like to do. Uh, it, current, it works for the current owners because they uh, have a business whereby they work from home. But if I just turn around and show you, um, you'll see what I mean. It is split into two sections, so you've got this section here, which is the main kitchen where you've got the range cooker and what have you. Uh, and then through these double doors here, it leads into another area. Um, as I mentioned, the current owner does work from home, so she has a catering business, so she bakes cakes. So this is her baking area. Nice big window there looking out to the rear. But if it was me, I think I'd be looking at knocking this wall down here through into that kitchen. Imagine having a, a massive open plan kitchen dining space here, perhaps get some doors there leading out onto that terrace, which I'll show you shortly. But it also flows through into this area uh, where they have a little bit of a dining section. But again, I'd be making this all part of the kitchen dining, big, uh, big family room towards the back of the property. This is the master bedroom which sits perfectly above the living room below so it's the exact same size same dimensions you've got the tall ceilings again and the large window overlooking the front of the property so bedroom two sits towards the rear of the property so it gives you some nice views of the garden it's another great size double bedroom and it's got some sharps fitted wardrobes in here as well and this is bedroom three, which again overlooks the front of the property. One thing I like about this bedroom is it's not a standard small or single bedroom. You've got those sharps fitted uh, or fitment there around the bed. But if you notice, this room is slightly wider than the actual landing space. So if I just try and show you, the landing runs across there, but this third bedroom is sat in uh, slightly deeper. It's on the deeds, it is official. It's just the way that this particular property was built. So you end up with a slightly larger third bedroom. And here's the main family bathroom. I love that feature window there overlooking the rear of the property. Uh, it's tiled from floor to ceiling, and I love the sort of uh, pattern tiling in here, or the pattern flooring rather in here. Uh, it's really in keeping with this property. So before we go downstairs and have a look at the basement level, I just wanted to mention about the loft here. It's a huge space, it spans the entire width of the property and you can stand up in there. Uh, the current owners have told me that it is something they've thought about. Uh, if they were staying, they'd perhaps have looked at even putting a couple of bedrooms up there. So if this is something that you're interested in, if you want to convert, make it bigger, explore that space, it's definitely something that I'd come and take a look at. So now I'm in the basement area of the property and there's so much potential down here. It's got two huge rooms, its own kitchen area, there's a, there's a shower, there's a toilet, there's even like a work shed to the rear, it's got its own independent access. So the current owners use it, they've got, they're a large family living here so it works for them. They have family members who, who, who stay down here and they use this as like a party room as well. Uh, but there's also the potential to, you could even have this as a granny flat or an annex if you've got teenagers, this is an area for them. Also, you could even look at perhaps having this as a separate area to the house altogether and even renting it out, it's that self-contained. So this is the main room down here in the basement. Again, it's 
huge tall ceilings, nice big window to the front. This is directly below the living room, so it gives you an idea of the size of this room. And there's a doorway leading through there into the bedroom as well. So this is the bedroom in the basement level. Uh, again, another great size double bedroom. Nice big window leading out there or overlooking at the rear of the property. Uh, and then a couple of doors so you've got access from the kitchen area or from that main living space. So this is the kitchen area down in the basement or the utility area. It's a little bit of a bonus really, more of an addition than, than uh, sort of like the, the upstairs kitchen where it's a little bit more modern. The owner does still do, do some of her cooking down here though, she tells me. Uh, obviously, if she's got some of those smellier foods, it's always better to keep it away from the rest of the house. But you have got a shower down here as well. There's the downstairs toilet. That's where the stairs would take you upstairs, uh, back up to the first floor. Uh, and then that door there takes you through to the work shed. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting now, and this is where you definitely need to come and take a look at it. So this is the work shed, uh, positioned to the rear of the property. There's a nice metal gate there which uh, separates us from the rear garden but it leads through to this section of the property which is what I want to show you and which is where I do think you need to come and see it. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. Now this is completely separate from the rest of the property. It's like a big long corridor which runs parallel and right alongside the, the house. It might be a little bit dark for you to see it. There's windows all alongside it but it's basically adding another six foot uh, of width to the property right along the back right along the side. This is below ground level as well, so those windows from outside are actually at sort of foot level. Um, so much potential down here, so much to be done with it, but you know, I don't know what that would be, but like I say, come and have a look at it and make your own mind up. So from the dining area, we step out these French doors onto like this raised sort of courtyard area or sort of like a mezzanine level for, for outside space. Uh, this is where I talked about perhaps putting those French doors from the kitchen or some bifold doors even. You know, if you knocked it all through into one, I think you'd have some big doors there opening out. But it's a great space, great for sitting out. A little bit of a sun trap as well in the earlier parts of the day. But as you can see, it runs right round the property towards the front there. So before we go and have a look down at the main garden, I just wanted to show you this aspect of the property, first of all. Uh, this is us looking from the rear. Though. Those are the French doors where we were just standing. Uh, and these windows that run alongside are what I was talking about in that sort of extra area of the property where they're kind of at ground level. This uh, little bit of a path is a private road which leads to the farm up the way. So you've not really got through traffic. Uh, and here's the potential for sort of off-road parking. So here's where the rear garden officially begins as we step through a gate down sort of this path area and as you can see there we've got a nice little footbridge which takes us over the river so it's a gorgeous little garden it's great for those with kids good for for a bit of exploring i'm told um it's just really nice so nice your own actual real life water features they've created some sort of a seating area here but the garden flows right up here as well up these steps have to be careful it's a bit of a wet day today don't want to be slipping um but here you go you can see his massive lawn area i'll try and get a shot looking back at the property in a second as well uh, and as you can see, there's a bit of a seating area over in the corner there. They've got their own little bit of a shed, but for those with kids, so much uh, green space here. And you can just see the property here through the trees. It's absolutely incredible. Okay, so there you go. What a fantastic, grand and prestigious property. Great rural location, but not too far away from the amenities if you need them. I did mention earlier on that the video will only be able to do so much. You do need to come and see this in the flesh just to appreciate uh, or to be able to appreciate just how spectacular it actually is. Uh, there's so much potential with it, but it's already a spectacular home. So if you're interested or if you'd like to arrange a viewing, if you've got any questions, get in touch. I'll always be happy to help. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you here soon.